Omnisender tutorial. So as you guys can tell by today's video title, I'm going to be going through everything you need to know about Omnisend, giving you a complete guide and walkthrough, and most importantly, a tutorial so you can actually go ahead and get started with Omnisend straight away and really use the platform to its full potential. So first and foremost, if you guys haven't already, click the top link down below in the video description so you can actually follow along for today's video and create your free account of Omnisend. And they do obviously have some pricing plans if you do want to go with the pricing plan option straight away. So you can go ahead and do that as well. But going back to the premise of today's video, as you can tell by today's video title, it's going to be all about an Omnisend tutorial. So if you scroll down below real quick as well, you can see that you can actually connect Omnisend to your e-commerce platform as well. So Omnisend integrates with hundreds of e-commerce tools and you can add it to your store with a single click, including Shopify, Shopify Plus, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Wix. So it integrates with a number of different platforms, which is obviously going to be very, very important and you know good for a lot of people in, in the e-commerce space. So first thing we need to do is again, click the top link down below in the video description. And once you go ahead and do that, you want to actually go ahead and sign up right here and you can do this by clicking the Start Free Now option. Now keep in mind the home page design could potentially change in the future, but essentially all you need to do is just click the top link down below in the video description and you just want to basically create a free account. So click on Start Free Now right here. Okay, and then it's going to basically ask for some basic details. So you can either start using Omnisend for free, you can sign up with Shopify, sign up with Google or sign up with email. Um, it doesn't really matter which option you choose. It's going to be based on your own personal preference. All right, so once you guys sign up, you'll come to the home page right here inside of their dashboard. And as you can see, you can do a number of different things inside of your Omnisend account. So as you can see, this is going to be your dashboard. You can see the goals, the overview. So obviously, like this is a brand new account for demonstration purposes, but you're going to be able to see your sales performance right here. And you're going to be see, uh, able to see your live view as well. So view your contact activity as it happens. And obviously, one of the most important steps is to first go ahead and connect your store to your OmniSend account. So if we click on Connect Store, you can see that you will have the option to connect your store through a number of different platforms. So select the platform of your online store and follow the steps to continue. If you cannot find your platform in the list below, please select other. Omnisend works with all the platforms. So Shopify, BigCommerce, uh, WooCommerce, Wix, a lot of these are on big platforms. And all you have to do is simply click on the platform you want to connect to. So let's just say Shopify for an example. And then you're going to be able to actually connect your store right here by following the instructions right here. So you just put in your store's address. Very, very simple stuff. You can do the same thing with Wix same thing really and obviously this is the same with the other you just put in your store's address and yeah you can do all that type of stuff right here now if we go over here to open app market you can also see all the uh different apps you can add as well and utilize so you can see all the newest apps um you know email capture and as you can see on the uh, left hand side and on the column you can see the collection of different like apps so you know apps for advertising reviews um, all very, very simple to do, and you can obviously get these apps very, very easily. And now if we go back, and if we just go back to the page we are on before, you can also see your billing right here, uh, you know, your settings in terms of like passwords and a bunch of other stuff right here, uh, apps and APIs, and obviously, the, you know, connecting your store, which is going to be one of the most important steps. Now, for today's video, I won't be connecting to a particular e-commerce platform because obviously everyone watching this video is going to be either using their own particular e-commerce platform, whether that be Shopify, Wix or something else. So everyone's going to be using a different platform. So I want this video to be pretty much, you know, like applicable for everyone watching this, watching it basically. So, um, yeah. So once you go ahead and connect your store, you can go ahead and obviously get, you know, started. And in terms of like the campaigns as well, you can see and manage and create new campaigns, automation and our forms and our, you can see your audience reports, all that type of stuff. So if we go over here to campaigns right here, okay. Um, as you can see, I created a test right here as well. And in terms of creating like a email, it's very, very simple to do. So if we go over here to new campaign, and if we go over here to email, and, you can, and again, you can choose whatever campaign type you want. So you can either choose like just a one-time email, which is more than sufficient, depending on like what you're going to be using it for. Um, maybe you want to do AB, uh, AB uh, split testing. So it's like two different versions of a single email to see which one comes out on top, SMS or push notifications. So let's just go ahead and keep it simple and create a new email. Okay. You know, you want to go ahead and put in your uh, details. So for the today's video, let's just put in 
test test line okay um of course in terms of like you the email address like this senders email address using gmail.com and senders email address may prevent the delivery of your email so essentially it's just best to get like a proper g suite domain or something like that so essentially be like you know let's just say your name at you know your website.com essentially instead of like a gmail.com extension um so yeah you can definitely you know fix that and putting the email that's going to be like yeah just get like a business email basically that's probably it'll probably be like your best bet um obviously the pre-header right here the campaign so this, this is basically like the information you're going to be putting in your email campaign and you can kind of like see a bit of a preview of what it'll look like right here so if i just put in bob the youtuber okay i don't know and as you can see like it's updated right here bob the youtuber because that's the sender's name let's just leave it as bob okay um and the preheader right here so let's just put in some dummy text so as you can see the preheader is going to be this text right here so this is how it's going to look inside the in, uh, your actual inbox or the inbox of your uh, subscribers okay and then you can obviously uh, name the campaign so let's just call it YouTube video this is for your own eternal use so you can kind of be organized and then you want to choose the language as well you can choose from a multitude of different languages and you can also order post email campaign to your Facebook page if you want to go ahead and do that as well. So let's just click on next step. And as you can see, you can choose a template um, for your email. So as you can see, welcome and engage. Uh, if you want to pay email to promote your products, you can choose this option right here and then pick a, a email template right here. Uh, if you want to announce a sale, offer a discount, there's plenty of different uh, emails that are geared towards helping you convert to a particular goal whether it's generating a sale or for a discount um or whatever you you want to actually do even for like holidays and stuff so holiday celebrations right here um you can use these templates for your own benefit so let's just go ahead and use this template right here for an example and it's very very simple to like add your emails right here so you can customize them for your own business and for your own person like you know whatever you may be doing so in this case, if I just want to like change a logo, I can easily just replace this and you know add an image. So it's very simple to do. Or I can just delete this if I don't want the image right here at all. And I could even delete this layer as a whole if it's in the way. So it's just like this, for example. Now, if I want to change the text right here, I can and again. I'm literally just drag and drop in this, like you know, it's a drag and drop type of like you know uh, user interface. So it's very very simple to like navigate and to adjust all this for your own. Uh, benefit really and own customization so I can easily add this paragraph right here at the top which is probably isn't gonna be the best option so if I want to go ahead and just redo something if I made a mistake I can click on the redo button right here on the top right hand uh, corner or the top right hand of the screen anyway and yeah as you can see it's just obviously you know read redone the um, yeah mistake I made in this example okay so if I want to change the text you just click on the text you can just highlight it uh, backspace and just putting whatever text you want for your email okay and the same with this you can obviously ch do a lot of customization in terms of like the size you know you can make a larger smaller you can change the fonts uh, obviously the, yeah the size it's like I was saying before I guess this is more of the textile but it does change like you know how it looks so um, the line height you can make a bold you can even change the color as well um so let's just leave it as uh, this color right here oh it doesn't really matter yep all right and yeah you can again you can even have like links as well so you can insert a link if you want to like a link to a call to action to your checkout page or to you know an offer whatever it may be okay and what we can also do as well we can add new elements to your email so we can add like you know quick ads so we can add text buttons images videos logos a menu social media a discount all that type of stuff so let's just add a button right here and yeah we can obviously customize the button as well so we can change the text very very simple to do we can change the color as well so we can change the color of the text all that type of stuff um, a lot of different things we can do right here don't want this video being overly long but essentially it's a very very simple user into into like user face in terms of like customizing your 
um, newsletters and emails very, very simple to do. You can even add like hero images right here. So like a 20% off discount. There we go. That's literally like a whole like section that you can just add to your email and use for your own benefit. Um, there's plenty of things like this, like even like logo and menu templates, hero template images, uh, email body, product listings, image gallery. So there's so many templates you can utilize for your own email. You can of course send a test email right here. Very simple to do. I'll strongly recommend sending a test email before you actually go ahead and use this for your live campaigns just to make sure that the test email actually goes through and doesn't get sent to spam uh, inbox or anything like that. So definitely test your email and once you go ahead and do that, you can click on finish editing. Okay, so as you can see, you can go ahead and you know choose where you want to send it to. So do you want to send it to like all your subscribers or to a particular uh, list? So you can segment your audience. Um, to, so. Uh, to send like different emails to different audience. Okay, so as you can see, we're back in the main dashboard. If you do want to go ahead and send a test email, you can go ahead and do that for your campaigns that we've just basically went over just before. So if we go over here to automation, this is where you can manage your automation workflows. So if we go over here to browse pre-built workflows, you can see that you have a number of different options and workflows you can utilize for your business. So in this case is Carla Badman, browser, browser Badman, uh, post-purchase, special occasions, transactional, and obviously the goals as well. Um, I'll probably recommend in my personal experience to not sell your subscribers straight away once they like sign up to your email list just actually like nurture your subscribers so you know build loyalty first so you can go ahead and actually build that trust and rapport with your audience and then once you actually establish that that's when you can start slowly selling them different products and services that you can offer them okay so if we go back over here you can obviously like add and use different forms so uh preview and launch a form so you collect subscribers from day one with iCashing forms. Okay, we can go over here and we can go again, easily just customize this. So, you know, you can customize the text right here, put in whatever you want. Um, if we just put in whatever text we want, very, very simple to do. Okay. Um, you can obviously change the, you know, color of the buttons and you do all of that as well. Very, very simple to do and you can change the text, of course, so you can just go ahead and do that. And again, I'm just messing around just to show you how simple it is to use and how easy it is to customize everything, right? Um, you can add different like items, so legal consent. Okay. Uh, drop down. So you can put in like different like uh, drop down menus, different options, and a whole range of different other things as well. The Wheel of Fortune one's pretty cool, actually. I love this one. I've seen this in a couple of different blogs and websites. So um, if you want to like give your subscribers like a gift or something like that or a chance to win something, you can go ahead and do this as well. So all very, very simple stuff to do. So if we just go back over here, um, that's the forms. If we go over here to audience, so once you start building your email list, you'll be able to go ahead and see your audience, including your contact list. So segments, obviously, um, if you want to segment your audience, which is what I strongly recommend you guys do. Uh, Pre-built segments, customer breakdown, imports, exports, and tags. You can tag your customers. Um, so maybe you built an email list on Facebook, so you want to tag that, which, which just like, lets you know that you know this particular audience is on Facebook. And then you know maybe you have a YouTube channel, and you have subscribers on YouTube that came from a YouTube channel. So you can like tag them that or from like from like YouTube for example. So. If we go over here to reports, this is where you can see all your analytics, so your standard reports, advanced and deliverability rates and all that type of stuff and workflows. So you're, to, you're going to be able to see all of that data right here as well. So, um, yeah, the goal of this video was just to give you a good rundown, a good tutorial, and just to pretty much get you familiar with the user interface so you can start getting you're familiar with Omniscient and actually start getting started as well. We went over basically how to actually sign up for a free account. So again, if you do want to sign up for a free account, if you haven't already, um, or get a bit of a discount or learn more about Omniscient in general, I'll provide a link down below in the video description so you can go ahead and learn more and get started straight away. And um, yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, go over pretty much everything you need to know. We went over pretty much all of the uh, key features inside of Omniscient. Um, if you did find value today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. This all supports the channel and, um, you know, yeah, makes these, makes these um, videos um, get out there for more people to see. So, yeah, thanks for watching today's OmniSend tutorial video.